Hello, we're here with Eric Salcedo and he's the National Field Director of APIA Vote. So tell us about APIA Vote. APIA Vote is Asian and Pacific Islander American Vote. We're a national nonpartisan uh, nonprofit organization that partners with local community groups to do voter registration, voter education, getting out the vote and election protection. So let's talk about the vote and you know voting is very important but why is so important? Well, uh, voting is our voice. Um, we, um, our country is founded as a democracy, and a, a good, healthy democracy requires participation by all its citizens. So we want to make sure that Asian American and Pacific Islander citizens are, and those who are eligible to be, uh, to be uh, citizens, register and get out the vote so that they can have a say in what their local, state, and federal government does. I know that some of the, the Chinese community, or Asian communities, and uh, they didn't really think that vote make huge difference. Can you give us an example of how vote can make difference? Oh, well, uh, there are many examples. I mean, um, there are, there was a, uh, the Virginia um, General Assembly was decided by a handful of votes as to which party would control uh, the, the House of Delegates based on one race. So every vote counts. There are numerous races where uh, like local elected officials lose by six or seven votes. So for us to claim that, uh, that their vote doesn't count or that one one's vote doesn't count is, is false because as long as we have a chance to vote and have our say, we can make an impact. I know that right now there are nearly 7% of Asian American in this country population. And uh, what's about the voting rate for this? Oh, uh, you know, it, it, it depends on uh, which ethnic group you're looking at. Uh, others have a higher rate of uh, voter participation than, than others. Um, so it, it really depends, I think, on the states and in especially the, uh, the, the, racial ethnic, the Asian ethnic group that, uh, that we're looking at. But it, it runs the gamut where, like, some, uh, boy, the data escapes me right now, are have higher rates than others, and which is why we need to have uh, data disaggregation so we can see which are the uh, Asian community groups that uh, need more assistance in uh, language assistance at going to the polls and help them to vote uh, versus other ethnic groups. So how, how and how your organization, how have you been uh, doing to raise this voting rate? Oh, so uh, we, um, like I said, we partner with local uh, organizations because these are community groups that have the cultural capacity as well as the uh, language skills to reach out to their own community members. So we teach them how to do uh, voter registration, how to talk to strangers or other family members or members of the community on the importance of voting, why they should take the time to, uh, to vote. And then we do uh, voter education because it's one thing to register someone to vote, now they need to know how to vote meaning like what are the resources out there that they can find out to find out more about the elected officials or the candidates that are on their ballot or the issues that they'll be voting on. And then uh, we get out the votes, we remind them because new voters need to be nudged or reminded to uh, go out and vote. And when they vote for the first time, we celebrate them because they are participating in our democracy for the first time, making our country even greater. Uh, and then election protection, because sometimes uh, members of our community are um, either you know denied access to the polls or they're giving like uh, they, they run into uh, language barriers at the polls which they are guaranteed protections from so we try to protect them as well so it's a it's a full-fledged um, like I said voter registration getting increasing uh, the electorate uh, educating them on the issues and uh, what they can vote on on the ballot and the, the, the mechanics of voting and then getting them out to vote as we call a GOTV and then making sure that we protect their constitutional right to vote at the polls well, just uh, for example, how do you convince someone who never vote, and uh, what would you say to them oh. <laughs> for family member oh, or strangers? You know, that's the yeah. The messaging, I think, is like how do we how do we convince people to message? And I think one of um, one of uh, the just uh, give me an example. Yeah, and how would you? You know, I would say well, you know, um, if you're um, a recent immigrant or if you're uh, like a like a, ch a child of uh, immigrants, I would say you know our families we we came here in search of liberty opportunity, uh, you know, the, the American dream. Um, we as American citizens need to honor the legacy and the sacrifice of our earlier generations by going out and registering and voting because they sacrificed so much to come and provide us the opportunity that we all benefit from now in this country. It's the least we can do to help 
continue to fulfill the American dream by voting on, a, on election day. That's a good one. I hope that more, peop more people can get involved with you and more of the Asian Americans can come out to vote.